Number 23 from the PERT practice test, it says find the slope between these two points, negative 5, 6, and negative 3, negative 2. One of the basic formulas in mathematics is the slope formula, and it's this. The slope of a line is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So what I do to make it a little bit more convenient is I'll stack these. I'll take that negative 5, 6, and place it underneath of the other coordinate. And I'm going to subtract them. So I'm going to set up this template here, the division bar, and then a minus sign between the two y's, and a minus sign between the two x's. And now I'm just going to fill in the blanks, basically. Um, my y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is negative 2 minus 6. And then my x sub 1 and x sub 2. Don't forget there's a minus on the bottom as well. So that's going to give me negative 3 minus 5. Negative 3. Now instead of putting a negative, negative 5 here, I'll just change this to positive 5. And it, just a little bit for convenience sake. Negative 2 minus 6 is going to give me a negative 8 over negative 3 plus 5, or 5 minus 3, as 2. So the slope of this line is going to equal negative 4. And the choice on the per practice test for number 3, choice A is negative 4. It, it lines up. Number 24 from the PERT practice test asks me to find the slope of this line. And the line is in standard form. I'm going to do an unorthodox method of finding the slope. I learned this from my supervisor. I, usually you would add 2x to both sides and then divide both sides by negative 6. Um, basically what I'm going to do is if this is A and this is B and this is C over here, the formula is negative a over b. Now when I'm just trying to train my students to find the slope quickly, I say you take this number and you put it on top of this number. So that gives me negative 2 on top of negative 6. And then you throw a negative in front. So 2 over 6, negative 2 over 6, these change to positive because a negative divided by a negative is positive, one-third. So my answer should be negative one-third. So my answer to number 24 on the per practice test should be negative one-third. And there it is. It's choice D. I want to do a couple more examples so you can see how quickly this works. So I'm going to take this number and put it over this number. That gives me 5 over negative 7. 5 over negative 7. And then you just throw a negative in front of that. So a negative negative, that's going to give me a slope of 5 over 7. And it goes pretty quickly. It goes pretty quickly.